after a fantastic stay in Byron Bay, Australia, we've decided to take the advice of our friend and host, Russell Mills of the legendary Pacific Coast. Yeah, Yurigi National Park is one of the special spots between here and Coffs Harbour that's worth stopping. You've also got um, this wonderful coastal walk that you can do. We understand there's also a lot of kangaroos there. Yeah, you'll see some wildlife. Um, this is a really rugged part of the coastline, so nature really does, uh, does have its sway there. Since we can never get enough rugged coastline and kangaroo sightings, we're headed straight to Yurigir, just a short distance down the coast. Campsites are first come, first served here, but we arrived early and lucked into this stellar site, all by itself, away from the main campground. Nice view. It's perfect. We've got our own private oceanfront oasis. This is our camper van up on the bluff overlooking the surf. The weather and water are perfect for swimming, wading, or just strolling along the beach. And the views of the rugged coastline are hard to beat. We've learned that dawn and dusk are the best times to spot kangaroos, but we went to bed without seeing a single one. So when we started our drive out of Urigir at sunrise the next morning, we wondered if we were going to see any at all. It turns out we had absolutely nothing to worry about. They were everywhere, and just like in Woodgate Beach, there were some really huge males. We even got to see a little more boxing. This is the greatest density we've seen so far. They're all over the road, so it looks like our exit from the park will be a slow one. There were so many that we couldn't resist stopping for photos and video. Just like those we've seen before, they're obviously used to humans. This allowed us to get close enough for good shots while still keeping some distance between us. There's still nothing cuter than a joey in its mom's pouch. After a while, we just stayed in one spot and let the ruse wander around us. And come to us they did. Sometimes they seem just a little too fearless, like the ones we saw in Cape Hillsborough National Park. This guy may not look that big, but this huge male stands taller than I do. And without being hit by it, I just know his tail is a lot more powerful than mine. Now they're only about five feet from me, and he started making a noise I hadn't heard before. I think that's kangaroo for, you're standing on my road, beat it. I was just about to start backing away when they stopped moving toward me. Now. I'm waiting to see what will happen next. It's exciting to get such up-close footage, but kangaroos can be really dangerous, especially big powerful males with family nearby. Actually, 
I think he's calling in reinforcements. Yep. I know they're probably just expecting me to feed them, but their willingness to come so close is unnerving. If they keep moving toward me, I'm out of here. There's apparently something about large, fearless animals coming straight toward you that causes unconscious mumbling as you get the heck out of the way. Now that they've shown me who's boss around here, they're going to use the place any way they want. And who am I to argue? Cooking area has two obvious necessities, the first of which is the sink. We use it to store our dish soap and our hand soap while we're traveling so they don't slide off the counter. And the other side being the cooktop. Lift the lid, three burners. Now, before we can use the cooktop, there are two things that need to be turned on. The first of which is the LPG or propane. And the second thing is there's a power switch. So in our master control panel here, 